Good evening everyone, Brendan from Starpoint Australis. Welcome to Tuesday, the week that was. So what have we been up to? Well, loads. Let's be honest, there's been a whole heap of back of house boring business stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna go into there for you, but just note that there's been many hours. Jess and I spent uh, all of Monday, we had a public holiday, yay. We spent all of Monday working on content and things that we're going to bring to you over the next uh, weeks and months. So that was the boring stuff, but let's get into some of the cool stuff now. So the SP3 landed literally this afternoon. I had to hold my uh, joy. It's like a little kid looking at the Christmas tree all morning going, come on, mum, dad, when are we opening these things? But uh, this evening we finally got into it. I'm only allowed to show you a little snippet because there's some more uh, content coming your way um, as we deal with that. So number one, nice and easy. This is the uh, top uh, plate for the motor cover. Um, inside that, that will house the motors, obviously the stepper motor, the electronics, and all the drivetrain. Um, just to give you an idea, so here's one I made earlier um, versus this one here. So you can kind of see where it sits in the whole situation. So it's just one of those top plates. It's pretty cool. Um, we've got the drive drive gears. So you can see uh, nice little drive gears in there. They just work uh, perfectly, I think. You know, feeling it, it locks in nicely. So there's no slop in there. Absolutely brilliant. Then we've got... Hopefully this will come up. Oh, there we go. So we've got the, the nice little gear, helical gear um, for the rack and pinion. Uh, I haven't got the rack with me. That'll be a later thing. But here we do, we've got, uh, it fits onto it perfectly. So there's a nice little slip fit, only just enough to make it slide, but very little movement laterally. So that's exactly what we need. What else we've been doing? So you would have seen me over the weekend, I was playing around laying a little bit of carbon fiber. Uh, sometimes I like to do that. You know, I like to keep my hands um, with new techniques and methods. Uh, it's just one of the things that I like to do because if I'm the person who uses it, I'm the person who designs it. And then, you know, I iterate, go through, and I learn exactly what it takes for each and every single step of the manufacturing process. So it just allows me to understand better how to build things because I understand what's available from each side. So, you know, a little, a little step for that is being the person who does the PCB electronics and, f and the actual software design for that. So I'll call it firmware because Dan does the software side of it. But understanding how all of it sits together allows us to you know, really start pushing boundaries of what's available out there. But carbon fiber, uh, it's a passion of mine. I, I quite like laying it. Um, it goes on just as a piece of material realistically. And then, you know, if, I mean, I can, you know, that's only a millimeter, uh, millimeter thick. It's only three layers on that. So that there is going to be the, um, basically goes in and covers, covers the secondary. So it disappears into there, covers the edges of the secondary, makes it nice and tight and neat. Um, we've got that. Then you've got the secondary stalk. So this will actually uh, turn into two secondary stalks. Uh, I'm changing up Dan's setup so that he can test a lot more efficiently. But yeah, so goes in as a secondary stalk. Then on top of that, you have the secondary hub and that's the uh, main nexus for all of the um the spider veins and everything like that so that'll all be together um not too far not too distant future now what else have we got we've got the octons and the phoenix um have gone through their first round of um qa with myself and when i say qa i mean it's already packed in the boxes and we're starting to do random um selections so i was on the phone for or phone video conference for close on three and a half, nearly four hours today. Um, and that was just my whole thing. Open this, what's in that bag? What does it look like? What's the length? Does it come to spec? 
So this is only one part of the QA, QC process. I have an independent QA, QC that is actually going to the factory and they will do a more in-depth uh, review of, you know, what are the conditions of the workers, you know, like we're dealing with that kind of stuff because we have, you know, today's modern slavery laws. So we've got to make sure that we comply with that. Um, we've got, um, what is it? The, the Octans passed, which was great. Um, the Phoenix passed for the main structure. However, there's a couple of items that I'm not happy with. Um, one of them just didn't fit quite properly. So that was the windshield to the main base. But look, I'm catching these things now. I'm not letting them go out of the factory. And then you, the customer, excited. You guys have waited long enough now, but you guys have waited and then you open it up and it doesn't work. That's the last thing that I want to do because that's just disappointment. I've been there and I'm sure everyone in this, uh, watching this video, they've been, you've been there as well, which is not what I want. So working on that, hopefully we'll get resolution of the issues this week. Um, yeah, hopefully, because I need to get these out to you guys. What else have we got going on? Apart from the business stuff, we all went through that. Got the, the focuser, that's going to be getting put together this week. I actually don't think there's too much more um, at the moment. So what I might do is I'll leave you guys there with it. And uh, yeah, if you're, if you're following us on uh, social media, so Facebook, uh, Instagram, we also have YouTube, and I now um, get uh, these uploaded to the uh, website. Make sure you jump on there, have a bit of a look. But until next time, clear skies, stay safe, and uh, yeah, we'll chat next week. See ya.